Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey YouTube friends, I'm back with another video. As I promised like two or three videos ago, I'm gonna show you... I'm gonna zoom in really quick. I'm gonna show you how to make those four tiles. They're made from cardboard and tissue paper and uh, paint and whatnot. I'm gonna zoom you out again. So we're gonna start with cardboard and um, I'm not sure if you can see. Mm, I think you can see it's slightly bended because I didn't chesso the back side. So then I started to add papers to the back side, but finally I figured out if I just chesso them, they stay flat too. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna chesso both sides of my rather thin flexible cardboard. It's uh, from a packaging. It's not especially bought or something. I collect all kind of things to use. So I'm gonna add gesso and I'm gonna add it on both sides and when everything is dry I'm gonna use the heat tool then I will be back. I don't think you need to see me how I gesso the cardboard. Now my next step, there are actually two ways how you can do it. You can either now, I have to zoom out a little bit more, okay. You can either uh, paint with like watercolors or li light uh, acrylic paints, but I'm going to use a napkin as the back, as the next layer. And as usual, I'm going to remove the non printed part. And I need, I want that, do I want that? Yes, I think I want that. So I need about half of this. Um, for that I'm going to use um, Mod Podge. You could use instead, uh, let's say, uh, you could glue it down also with watered down white glue. Or you could also use um, gel medium. Just make sure that you have it really glued down. Uh, there shouldn't be any place where is no glue because we're gonna go in with more layers and with the embossing ink if we have any areas where it isn't really attached that's gonna bubble up and we don't want that and if I look sideways like here I don't have any glue I can see I need a little more if I look sideways I can see whether it is shiny or not if it is not shiny it means it doesn't have glue there And I'm not overly concerned about the small wrinkles, but the big wrinkles I try to take out. Don't be stingy with the uh, mock pouch when you go over the napkin. Uh, there is always the danger that you could rip it when you are when it is too dry of a surface. So I rather have a little bit too much than not enough. It's nearly ripped here. Okay, I'm gonna dry that again and then I will be back. Stamping. We're gonna need tissue paper, plain tissue paper. And the first um, thing I'm gonna stamp is some script stamp. There are already printed tissue papers out there which you could use too but uh, I decided I want my own script here and again I have no idea what brand it is. It is just 
script, whatever you have. And make sure that you have well inked a stamp pad. Let's see how that does. Well, I think I want a little bit more. That's why I always have my re-inker re handy when I do those kind of things. Sometimes you don't mind having a light stamping image, but sometimes you want really bold patterns. So, and because I'm gonna layer another tissue paper on top, I want to make sure that some stays visible. Give a little bit time to transfer the ink. And I don't care whether I turn it around or not. It's just, I use the text just as a texture, not uh, as a, that you can read it. That's not my goal. Now we need the little images like I have here. But I have other stamps this time. I do have mainly the Paper Artsy the, from the Lynn Perella collection. But I have also some, like this two, they are secondhand stamps. I have no idea what brand they are. I do buy stamps secondhand. Now you have to make sure that you have enough paper around the stamp so that we can place them a little bit and move them around until we are happy. So you always can cut back paper, but if there's not enough paper around, there's nothing we can do. Well, this is going to be in a big, I think. I did make me a, a, a few finder, so just cut out from some paper. And I'm interested in the face, not the thing is around, so I don't care to have enough ink there. You could also use like butterflies or if you do it for Christmas, like little angels or little Christmas trees, whatever fits on your either inches or two inches or three inches, <laughs> whatever you want. Your imagination is the limit. It should stick, but it doesn't stick means I have to clean the back side at one point. Now I'm gonna fill the rest of the tissue paper with my stamps and then I will be back. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my third layer of the gesso napkin. The script stamp is my third layer. that I see where I'm at. Actually with the tissue paper you can go directly over without. But the tissue paper is so thin that if you use it directly the mud pouch on top <coughs> I'm running low that it still sticks. So and yeah, don't be sticky, stinky. It did rip here a little bit. I don't think it's a big deal, but I try to avoid it the ripping. So 
I gotta glue that down completely and then I'm gonna dry it again and then I will be back. Now again I have cut back, cut back the overhang and um, I'm gonna go over a little bit with gesso before I add my focal images. I just want to tone it down a bit. I don't want to completely cover it, that's why I'm using a wet towel. You still can see the colors and the text, but it is not so stark. Now my next step is going to be adding pretty images or focal points or whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm going to figure out how I want it. can't see the lines, they are very faint, but that's exactly what I want. And I, I, I'm not overly exact because I'm gonna cut the tiles off the words anyway. But just to have an idea and save me some space for more. Maybe this one will more like this. So even if I have the same image, I don't necessarily have the same part. So it, it looks different again. And sometimes I even use those bits, just it doesn't always have to be faces. And then I have the bigger ones, which I want to do in twinches. So again, I'm going to fill up my cardboard and then I will be back. I have cut those papers and what I do now, I just add a little bit of uh, glue stick and then I go over the hole with the Mod Podge. Just need to fix them a little bit. Time for my pouch carefully. <laughs> Okay, it is dry now, so I start going marking where I want to cut. I use a black um, jelly roll. And then it is as simply as cutting them out because for the next part we want them as a single tiles. So here we are with a bunch of tiles. Now the next step would be maybe I go just with the yeah I go just with the metallic and just so you know the tiles aren't really square or regular that wasn't my goal here if you want to have really the same size 
squares every time you have to cut them maybe with the ruler and the knife I just didn't feel like that they're going to be a little bit wonky so while I was um, doing the edges I was thinking I want something something going on here too but that's way too much pigmented so I need a water brush that are by the way the Jane Davenport's um, markers and they're really well saturated so if you want just a light application use it like that That's again, that's totally optional. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. I just had the feeling I want something more. <laughs> more is more. At least in my world sometimes. <laughs> what about you? Now we are ready for the embossing part. I'm going to show it with two or three of those tiles. And uh, as usual, there will be a final image at the end of the video. So if you want to see it, what they look like, uh, stay tuned till the end. It is a multi-layer process, but it is an easy process. So let's start with the first one. I do have the embossing ink here. Any brand will work. I do have the heat tool on the side here. And I have the ultra thick embossing powder clear and the catch paper the first thing we're gonna we're gonna sprinkle the clear embossing powder and as you can see I have sort of a barbecue skewer that here so you can actually see it and then I just dump the rest back in again whenever you do embossing and by the way I'm gonna mute the tone but for the first one I'm gonna do it in real time so you get an idea how long it really takes so but the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna start the heat tool and see if it is really hot if it is cold, I'm just going to spread those little um, particles around. That's not what I want. Another thing, I'm going to do it more sideways. If you do it on your own, if you don't want to videotape it, you can do it from above. But if I do it like that, you won't see anything. So that's why I do it sideways. But it's better, quicker if you can do it right from above about 20 centimeters 8 inches from It's going to bend a little bit, just bend it back while it is still warm and then wave it until it is cool again and then again. You have to do three to four layers so that we get a really nice glass like finish. So I don't know whether you could see it, but I did sprinkle some 
sequence in while it still was melted. They are in now. Again, cool it down. I would say that this is our first one. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to work on a small one. I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to work like on those two and then I finish up off camera and we'll be back. See like there is a dip here, so you get rid of those dip if you do several layers. So here we are with a bunch of art tiles. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the glare, so that's why I'm talking. I'm going to move them around a little bit. In case you are wondering what to do with them, why not make a mosaic? Or like on a card box or around the mirror. Use it in your card project. Or like I do, I really like them to have them in my assemblages as little something something. You know, I like those something something. So I hope you enjoyed the video and just so that you know, I really appreciate it when you share my videos and when you subscribe and add comments to the comment section. I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.